Hi everyone, I'm Ellie from Code of the Future and today we're going to be continuing with the NumPy tutorial series in Python by looking at the copy and view commands when dealing with arrays in Python. So as usual I'm going to put my glasses on and I'm going to move you onto the screen. Okay so um, we have a little bit of a, an increased zoom on the screen. I realised when I was doing the videos before the it wasn't incredibly zoomed in so I've just made things a little bit kind of clearer so you can see it a little bit better. So apologies for that in the previous videos but we're going to get stuck in straight away. So we're doing copy and view today which is why I put this comment at the top just to say this is tutorial number four and we're looking at copy and view in NumPy. So as usual, we import the relevant modules and we've imported NumPy as NP. Now, if you don't know how to import or install NumPy, I mentioned it in the first video, so the first tutorial. So just go check that out just to make sure that you have installed NumPy correctly. Okay, so we're going to get started straight away and we're just going to say copy. So we're going to look at the copy command when using arrays. So the first thing I'm going to say is, let's say array equals np.array. Okay, one two, three, four, five. So we've got a very simple array here. And again, if we print this array and we click run, it will return this here. And remember, arrays have no commas like lists do. Okay, so we've printed the array, perfect. So we've, we've created this one dimensional array. So I'll just say here, this is a one dimensional array. And what we can do with this array is we can actually create a copy. So we'll say copy equals array dot copy okay now we'll say here this creates a copy of the original array so now if i was to say print copy notice we get back the original array perfect so, so we've assigned the variable copy to this array and again if i was to print the original array and we click run we would expect it to be produced twice which is what we get so it's twice so we have created this copy of this original array perfect okay so what we can do now is we can say let's change one of the elements within this original array let's say we don't want one anymore we want 10 so let's say array 0 equals 10 now what this is doing is it's changing the first index which is this one here and it is replacing it with 10 so if I was to print array now and click run, we get 10, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's because we repla we've replaced 1 with 10. But watch what happens when I print the copy. Okay, so click run. Aha, notice this copy has no longer been affected by what we've done to the original array. So what's really nice about this copy is that you can take an array and instead of having to reassign it, you know, as this array again, we can simply take a copy. The thing, what's really handy with this is that if you have a really, really long array, you know, you've got um, an array that's got loads of different dimensions and, you know, you can't write it all out. You just have to recall it. The copy command really, really helps because it allows you to take an array, take a copy of that original array. And then you can start manipulating the original array and still have a backup of you know what the original array looks like. I know that I've said array quite a lot in that in that sentence there, but this is the kind of the general overview of, of how copy works. So I'm just going to add some comments in and say this uh, changes one to ten. So I'll just put change change of element, okay. And then here, okay, this prints the array with the in with the element change and this prints the original array okay perfect so we're just going to explore view now and how view differs from copy so we'll just put here view and again we'll just keep this same array so we'll just copy it pop it here and we'll say array two just you know we know it's the second array and we'll say this is a one dimensional array Okay, and let's say view equals array two dot view. Okay, and this creates a view of the original array. Now let's do the same thing and say array two, change the first element from one to 10. We'll print this array two, and then we'll print view. Okay, so what we're doing is we're printing this array two once we've changed the first element to 10 and then we're printing this view which is just a view of the original array so we'll run this aha okay so notice what happens here unlike before copy will keep the original array 
so it, it leaves it unchanged view does not do the same so what's worth noticing is i'm just going to comment this out for a second and just show you what view does ordinarily so we'll just say print view okay so when you first start and we click run um, and notice that it is equal to you know this array 2 here and that's what happened when that's what happened when we first did the copy it was identically equal now when we do you know this command that we've just done when you change the original array view is also affected so here view has been changed unlike copy where copy remains the same view does not okay so again we'll just say here changes one to ten and this is a change of element and then here prints the array with the change of element and so does view so we can copy this comment and we can say the exact same for view so that is how view and copy differ from each other if you were to take a view of a given array and then manipulate that given array the view is still the same okay now what's worth noticing as well is if we change this here so we'll say instead of array 2 we're going to let view so we know view is this to begin with now we're going to change the view the first element to 10 so like we did before click run now notice that either way if you take a given array assign it to this and whether you change the view or the array both will be equal so that's why here we have this again so notice it's exactly the same if you change the view index element and you change array element it's exactly the same they both produce the same result whereas here if we did the same and instead of array we said copy notice that when we run we get the first we we get that the array is as itself you know we didn't do any changing of indexes and the copy has been changed because we've changed the copy so that's two major differences between copy and view okay we'll just run that again perfect and in here we'll just say that's array two okay perfect now something else that's really quite handy is we can actually get python to recall whether it's a copy or a view and the way that we do that is okay so we know that view is a view and we know that copy here is a copy so let's just say print view dot base and again we're going to say print copy dot base and we'll run this okay so here so we've asked python to print view dot base and notice it returns the array okay whereas when we do copy it returns none so this is a really handy way of telling whether something is the original array that you've then manipulated or whether it's a copy so we'll just say here this will return the array and i'll just put with changes not the original array so not this one here it will return the array with changes and then this will return not okay so that's just something to bear in mind you can tell whether something is a view or a copy by just simply putting dot base okay so perfect we've explored copy and view in numpy and how the two differ from each other these are really really handy when you have really really big arrays and you want to you know create a copy or you create a view they are really you know they are incredibly handy i will be releasing a tutorial five in numpy shortly so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on a tutorial and as always if you enjoyed the video please like subscribe and comment and make sure to follow me on social media as well i'm posting loads of content you know asking my followers what content they want to see so make sure you follow me on social media just so i know you know what my subscribers want to see as well so make sure you follow me on social media and I will see you all in the next video.